and wine. And remember later, we'll be making that call to our lucky viewer and sending them off to Melbourne. So stand by, we could be calling you. Now let's get into the chat. Would you give up pre presents on your birthday? Well, social media sensation Christian Hull is, and he's asking for sanitary napkins instead. It's all part of a great cause, and he joins us now from Brisbane to explain. Christian, it's great to see you. Hi. Oh, it's great to be here. Now, <laughs> what, 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 what's, what use do you have for pads and tampons? Um, great question. Um, so basically... I'm creating a massive art installation uh, across the Harbour Bridge. I'm putting them everywhere. No, that's exactly... I'm not doing that. I have asked uh, for pads and tampons for my birthday this year. I'm, t I'm 34. It's really old. And you get to an age and you're like, I just don't need anything. And I came across a charity called Share the Dignity. Yep. And their mission is to end period poverty in Australia. And I learnt, as a bloke, that women... Uh, struggle to afford pads and tampons. They should be free. And so I've teamed up with this charity and I'm raising money uh, to basically buy pads and tampons for vending machines that are littered across Australia that provide uh, women in, you know, domestic violence, uh, refuges, schools, homeless shelters, and basically women in need can access these vending machines, push a button, and it dispenses a period pack with some pads and tampons, which I think is just a great... I just think it's, it's real... Oh, I can't swear, but it's real bad that, mm. you know, these items aren't free and mm. easily yeah. accessible to women that just can't afford them. They are actually quite expensive. And a lot of women uh, in financial dire will spend money on food for their children before they spend money uh, for pads and tampons for themselves. Yeah, yeah. we've heard about young, w young girls and young women as well avoiding going to school and work because they simply can't afford them as well. So it's and, just awful and, stuff. And I also found it terrible that... Um, a lot of women find it really hard to ask. Yeah. You know, um, there was a woman that, that was offered a lot of help in a domestic violence, uh, violence refuge, and she was like, I've just asked for so many things, and I've just got my, pe my period, and I just don't have the heart to ask for some pads. And so that's why the vending machines have sort of started, where you, you don't have to ask. They're just sort of hidden, and you push a button, and it just gives it to you. Yeah, it, it, it's so important because it's not something you have um, a choice you know, that's something mm. that's going to happen. Um, and Share the Dignity are, are a fantastic foundation. Right, charity. Uh, uh, They're so good. So, but, but why did you get involved in that, though? I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah, good question. I really knew nothing about periods initially, and I've learned so many things. <laughs> um, uh, but I got involved because uh, I think my audience are... You know, I, I reach a huge amount of women. Like 90% of my Facebook audience and TikTok they are women. And I just feel this was a, a charity and a cause I could champion. And, um, and that's pretty much why I got involved. And initially I heard a campaign called It's in the Bag, which is a campaign that Share the Dignity run in November. And I love it. So you fill a handbag with uh, sanitary items, you know, toothbrushes, pads, shampoos, and a little gift, maybe some makeup or hand cream. And then uh, you drop it at Bunnings. And then these bags go to these women who you know, are at such a low point in their life that uh, I've heard that it's just, it just gives them that feeling of being needed yeah. or yeah. wanted and, and, and loved. Just a small gesture. Well, it's, it's fantastic that, that, that you're, that you're um, putting your face that. I think it, it, it's so important because um, the right thing is the right thing. Whoever it's for, yeah. you know, and, and, and that's what we have to. And dignity, everyone, everyone deserves dignity, no matter who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Um, so well done, well done. Um, you, you had a pretty jam-packed year last year as well. Uh, uh, you moved to Brisbane, you bought a house, started a yes. business. But what also became uh, a TikTok star? Um, superstar, I should say. Talk us through it. No, <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> yeah, Last year was supposed to be a terrible year because I just bought a house, literally, when they were like, you bought a house. It was, um, I was like, oh, thank God, I'll go on my comedy tour. I was going to tour Australia. I was like, well, that'll pay the mortgage. And then literally, like, three or four weeks later, we went into lockdown. We cancelled the tour. I thought, oh, no, what's going to happen here? And um, so I just started making some resin jewellery. It looks really terrible. I don't know. It's really hard to see. But it's just a pendant with a flower in it. Now, I can't tell you what I call my business or what I call my products because it's littered with the F word. Um, <laughs> I hate people, basically. I hate Aww. them. Just leave me alone. Go away. So I started a business um, where this is like, you know, crystals? Yeah. You know, people, you know, how they have 
healing energies. Mm -hmm. um, well, these pendants have leave me alone energy. <laughs> and so I just, I swear into them. So as they said, I scream, go away. <laughs> and um, I made a TikTok of it and it blew up. And I ended up selling about, about I think we're up to 15,000. I've sold oh 15,000 of these. Wow. I made so much money. Um, literally, <laughs> just off camera, are just piles of money. I'm loving it. It's so good. Oh, Kristen Hull, you're such a doll. You're doing wonderful work for Share the Dignity. And let me tell you, 34 is not old by any stretch. You're just a baby. You're going to stick around for the chat. Stop it. Let's do it. I am. I am. All right. Let's um, talk about some of the other things that are making headlines this morning. And going green leaves you with a pretty good feeling, right? Mm. But maybe not when it comes to the bedroom. There's been a spike.